What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a while since I watched some Vikings, man. Let's get to it. Oh, my God. You know, I had some things to say about last time. Last time I reacted, I had some things to say. So I don't know where the story is going. Like, I'm looking for a definitive um, storyline due to the fact that we're coming to the close of the season. And I can't find one. You know what I mean? So I've been extremely a little bit too critical you know, towards this series right now because I don't know really what's going on. Next season is the last season, and I don't see anything leading up to anything. The only thing that I said that is of interest to me is the fact that King Alfred is looking to make Ube the head of the army. So let's go watch the episode and see what they have to say, and I'll have another review after this episode. I don't know. If it's interesting enough, I might do two episodes, but if it's not, then we're going to stick to one. If anyways, let's jump into this and I'll see you guys for the review. Okay, I don't know about you guys, man, but I'm extremely... I, I don't even know. I'm really disappointed with Vikings right now. This season has been hot garbage, <laughs> to say the least. Not the not the entire season, but as an overall, like I would give this season so far a, a six out of ten, maybe. This season has been kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie; it's been kind of trash. You know, the writing has really diminished. Some of the stuff that happened just don't make no sense. There's no connectivity. I can't relate to anything. I can't draw any parallels. There's beautifully shot scenes. And that's all the show is now. It's just a bunch of aesthetics. And it's like the storylines are not really connecting for me. So, um, as I said, Uber's storyline is, is the most interesting storyline right now. That I'm following that I want to see, but they won't show enough of it. So it's like they're still concentrating on Ivar. Ivar is over here burning women and children, okay? Like, I just can't rock with him. I can't rock with him. I At this point, I just hope somebody kills him before it's too late. Before he just start burning random people and just become a quote-unquote mad king. And just start killing everybody even his closest friends and stuff. Him now having a baby with a deformity is very understandable because he's deformed. I know deformed people have, you know, you know, you know, you know, I mean, in his circumstance where, you know, this girl, I don't even know how she, and how the hell she ended up with a deformed baby. How? Because it probably just wasn't meant to be. You're trying to trick Ivar by getting yourself impregnated by another dude, then kill the dude. How? Because it's not really, you know what I'm saying? It's not really Ivar. It's not really the father. You know what I'm saying? So what's going to be the turn out of this? Kill Vitzer's girl. The, you know, he finally found somebody you love other than Margaret. You know what I'm saying? And you killed her and her entire family. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude is out of control. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's just that from from the perspective, from what I'm looking at at this show right now, it's just I can't rock with Ivar, and the and pretty much all the other storylines. I don't know what the hell is going on with Floki. I don't know what's going on with that storyline. I, I, you know, as I said before, this is just it's frustrating to me you know what i'm saying because it's 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 not like i'm not going to finish the series but if this continues it, it, you know it's just gonna end on a very sour note in my opinion for me and it's gonna drop the rating of the show for me it has been a really constant nine out of ten show until this season you know what i'm saying and it's just that i'm i i i think it was at this point i'm thinking it was a bad it was really really a bad idea to kill ragnar i know people are going to watch the show because they love the show they want to see how it ends you get what i'm saying they want to see how the show ends i want to see how it ends so i'm going to continue to watch 
But the problem that I'm having it is just bad decisions and it's just terrible writing because nothing is connecting right now. All the storyline we're following literally right now, we're kind of following like four different time um, stories, timelines, and in, 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 not really timelines, but stories in this tv show it's ridiculous you can't have so many different stories you got the floki storyline right you got the the wessex storyline right you got ivar and 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 vitzerk storyline and you got the bjorn and 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 and, and all you have three storylines that are going to basically collide at some point which is the the ivar everybody's going to collide on ivar because bjorn and king harold is going for him we got now Vitzer found this dude now, Olaf, going for Ivar, right? So all those three storylines are going to collide at some point. We get that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just certain things that are just, mm, you know what I mean? Like I'm looking at it and I'm like, I just don't understand what's really going on. You know what I mean? It's just the show just seems like it's all over the place. In my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like it's all over the place. And it's just weird. To me, you know. How they're just all over the place with the writing. It's like they didn't want to get rid of Floki's character. They didn't want to kill the character. Which I think if you're going to do something like this. This is what you should have done. If you're not going to bring Floki back into the main storyline later on. I don't want to see him trying to find himself. This is not what the show I'm trying to watch. I'm not trying to see Floki find himself, okay? I'm not saying I want the same old crazy, crazy Floki, but Floki character's arc is one of the best in the story, and y'all ruin it with this foolishness that he's doing right now. I don't even know. I don't even care about... You're making me not care about Floki's character anymore. Like, I I, I don't just want to... That's just not what I want to see when it comes on to this show and the greatness that it has provided for the last four seasons. That is not what I want to see. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, that's just my complaint with the show right now, man. It's like, you see me... I probably rolled my eyes like 50 times during the damn reaction because I'm like, where is this going? Where is it going? <laughs> two episodes left in a season where is this going huh where is this going two episodes left in in the season where is this going where is this going to end we going to end up just having a one on one fight with 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 uber uber that's it i am really disappointed man at this point they should have just ended the show at this season just figure out a way just have a big final battle let Bjorn sit on the tr the throne and pfft, that's it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> at this point. But as I said, I'm still going to watch the rest of it, but I'm really, really feeling disappointed at this point. And let me know what you guys think. If you watch this review, let me know what you think, of course, of what I'm saying. You might not like it. You can disagree, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, as I said, there's still small aspects of the show that I do still enjoy. So it's not all but loss for me. You know, it's just that I wish it was still a cohesive story that you could follow like what they were doing in the past four seasons. It's just the storyline is too split up. Everything is just kind of split up. There's, it's not like I can't follow all the storylines. It's a matter of it's too split up. There's too much storylines going on and we're and it's like it um if you want to if you want to compare it to like game of thrones game of thrones had a lot of storylines but guess what all those storylines came to a clash boom at some point and but the thing about it is that all these storylines that were going on they've been building up since season one they didn't start doing this in season five you get what i'm saying like if all these storylines were apart during season one and we're just waiting for them to collide, fine. Because that's what's happening in Game of Thrones. There's a bunch of storylines all over the place and you're following them all. 
but you're just on that anticipation of everything just coming to a collision course, which is what happened in season eight. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was shitty, that's the main thing about this the, the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? But they aren't doing that. They're starting to split up everybody all over the place in season five. And it's just like, what is this for? You know what I mean? What is this about? Why are we doing this? You know what I mean? So that's just my opinion on things, guys. I don't expect you guys to feel the same way I do, but that's just my opinion, you know, and I'm watching the show because I want to see what happens. I'm anticipating, but at the same time, it's just always like another episode where there's not much like the the, the situation with Lagatha, right? The situation with Lagatha. Why was that not explained in any way possible? we're just supposed to accept the fact that she's back now and changed she was just going crazy when we found her and you're not even going to give it an episode's rest for her to get back into her right mind and find out what the hell is going on with her you don't think we want to know that after she's been missing for three episodes are you serious <sighs> come on man that is terrible writing and it's flash forward i can't stand it but anyway Thank you guys so much for listening. I'll catch you guys later. Uh, make sure you like the video, dislike it, whatever. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, man, leave a like. Leave a subscribe to the channel. If you're new, if you want to subscribe <laughs> for Viking or something else, I won't hate if you don't <laughs> be honest at this point. Go back and watch the older stuff that I really loved up until the end of season four. It was a couple of good episodes this season, but that's about it. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.